YouTube, what's going on? Dan with Right Now Powder Coating, and today's video is all about that hot flock. Let's jump into it. All right, guys, a lot of stuff going around on the internet about whether you should or should not hot flock. I'm for it, but I don't think you always have to do it. But there are times that it comes in handy and it will speed up your production. It will help you be less frustrated. And that's what we're gonna show you today. Um, we do kind of hot flock our wheels at about 185. We put the front layer on and then do the drum and the barrel and then come back and redo the face with a second layer for gloss black because it helps give it a really nice, deep, rich look. Now, the other time we hot flock are on parts that have massive Faraday areas and just make us want to pull our hair out. So here I'm going to show you the parts we're talking about today. I'm going to show you our technique for doing it and then we'll get the rest of it coated. So let's get into it. All right, these are gas caddies for one of the companies we do work with. Yes, they are not blasted. We will have to do another video on how we phosphate them and chemically prep them to hold powder. Not everyone wants to pay for the blasting process. All right, so these have really, really bad Faraday areas right in here where this is welded. I mean, you're basically pinched up to there. The metal kind of curves a little bit, but that area is so hard. When you spray this dry and you come in from the top and the bottom and you do all the tricks, it builds up a ton of powder right there, and it looks like crap because it gets all orange peely. Um, the other area is on the welds there, and then down in these holes, there's a lot of issues with that. And then obviously down in here, it's very hard to get powder in. So we're gonna go ahead, we've washed these, we're gonna dry them. When they come out, we're gonna make sure they're hot, and we're gonna hit all of these areas first, and then we're gonna let it cool down a little bit more and do the rest of the tank. So the reason we do that is we wanna get those areas covered so that they don't rust out on us and then we want to wait till it cools down so the powder lays out more evenly. You get a better um, consistency when it comes to the mill thickness. So um, let's do it. Those got warm in there. They browned a little.
So we're just going to speed up through this part, just hitting all the spots on all the tanks, making sure that they're fully covered and that uh, we won't leave anything bare to eventually rust out and ruin the product. If only we could really coat this fast and make things so much better. About now is when I realized I forgot to tape off those ends. So what we end up doing is we use a scotch bright on a DA and just kind of clean off that paint after it goes through. So here you'll see I'm just laying down nice, even um, strokes, doing a 50% overlap on it just to get full coverage. On these tanks, you want to make sure that you're careful to keep track of where you've been because the um, wraparound will actually cover up the backside of the tank as you're going, which can cause you to think you already did it. So this is where good lighting, a flashlight, and remembering where you've been really come in handy. Gas tanks are done. Faraday areas look amazing. We got to clean that up. I messed up and didn't tape it all. Ooh, they pop a little bit. <laughs> but down in there, they look great. So that is why we use the Faraday, or the Faraday. That's why we use the hot flocking method. We don't typically, I've, I've been in shops where they literally spray everything hot. Um, which is fine if you know what you're doing. You got to be careful with your mill buildup because as it melts, it takes on more and more and more, and it doesn't ever reject it because it's so warm, it's melting instantly. So, um, yeah. So that's how we uh, we use that. We also showed you guys some of our air setting techniques on the gun. Um, this is actually where we ended up being. This powder's kind of clumpy, but. We have a special gizmo we have at the bottom of our gun to help us with that. So once I got that on there, we did have to up the air a little bit to use it. But you saw our spray outs here and if we had enough powder or not enough powder and that sort of thing. So we'll get into more of that stuff later. That tool is really helpful if you don't have time to sift all your powder out. Um, yeah, so now I'm all red. And Saturday we got... They pop for... I swear it's been days before. Um, got another load in the oven. Once that's done, we got a couple more over there on the floor, back in there. And I'm going to call it a day. Thanks for watching. As always, make sure to subscribe. Hit that like button. We'll catch you guys on the next one.